Salute omnis, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek. And we're starting on another project. If Return to Crows didn't interest you, perhaps this will. It's a lot more cartoony, a lot more standard fare. This is Bugs Bunny in... Rabbit Rampage. It's a 2D platformer on the Super Nintendo, because I'm sure you've never heard of that kind of thing. I first played this game at a friend's house, but I didn't own it myself until a while after that. You get a demonstration of the controls here. Left and right on the D-pad, of course, are for movement. Y lets you throw pies. X is for kicking. B, of course, is jump. A is for throwing items. And we'll get to that when we start actually playing the game. L and R let you flip through your inventory to see what items you have. And holding down X and Y together lets you spin. Down is duck, naturally. I'm pretty sure up doesn't actually do anything in the game. But if you press Y while ducking, you can throw a pie while ducking. And press B while ducking, and you can drop into holes in certain levels. And here's our options menu. You can actually set what button, which button does what if you want to. This game actually does use all the buttons on the Super Nintendo controller, except up, I suppose. And technically, I'm using up to go through the menu here. And you can set... this is the option we really want. We can set our starting number of lives here. You can set it from anything from to... or you can set it to anything from 1 to 10. And like Return to Crows, there's no real, real reason not to go for the maximum here. Especially since this game actually doesn't have a save system. It gives you this, this many lives and 4 continues, but that's all you get. Anyway, on to the actual game. Also, spoilers, that was the music for level 4, and we're only probably going to be doing the first two levels in this episode. But anyway, here's our starting screen. It's a beautiful snowy landscape. You can see our life count there. And there's our hero, Bugs Bunny. This is level 1, or level 1.1 as the game calls it. That carrot here is our health meter, and the little Acme box on the right, in the top right corner of the screen, that is our inventory. Also, these guys are enemies. And, interesting thing about jumping on enemies in this game, you actually can't just jump on them, you have to hold down one of the attack, or press one of the attack buttons while doing so. X works, Y works, I would assume A works. I'm gonna save that carrot in case I get hit. And dropping through this hole, we can go all the way down to the secret area. Get some dynamite here. And I'm not entirely sure how you get that one up. Because of course it is a one up. I mean it says one up. Now, also, I actually I actually, I actually did use an item over there without explaining it. Okay, there, he punched me. Also, these guys can actually guard from your attacks, so... Pies tend to be pretty good at dealing with them. And he punched me again. Oh, there we go. The bones appear only in this level, and the dogs will pick them up if they find them, and then it will insta-kill them. That one was kind of a waste, since I'd already hit him several times, but... Also, this arrow thing is a checkpoint. You can actually set your own checkpoints in the levels in this game. Kicking seems to be more powerful than pies, or even jumping. Also, you actually want to use your items, because at the end of the level, you actually get something called style points for doing so. Okay, so that's the only item have I have left. Kick you in the butt. Unfortunately, now I'm out of items. Now, the brown dogs can't actually hurt you, or can't actually punch you, but they will... 
If they point at you, they will drop bullets. Ow. Hey, gang up on me there. I don't know if you actually get style points for taking fewer hits, but you may. Naturally, the brown dogs are easier to deal with than the... Oh, this is not good. You know what? I'm just gonna skip those guys. I don't think you get style points for killing enemies. Just go up through here, get some more items. I could really use a carrot right about now. Actually, is it possible to drop through? Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know how you get that one up either, actually. Okay, so I don't know all the secrets of this game. Kick the chipmunk. At least I think those are chipmunks. Oh, and there's a carrot up there, and I kind of want that. Because I am still pretty low on health. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I believe you can actually press or hold up while jumping, and you'll jump higher. Yeah, a little bit higher, it looks like. Also, Bugs Bunny's jump sound effect is just hilarious. Can I just say that? Oh, I can go down here for more carrots. Also, I'm actually not sure if the red dogs can dodge the... Um, item pies. Like they can your normal ones. Um, let's see, how far back are we now? Dynamite tree. Do I have any more pies? Nope. Time to get the drop on him. And get rid of the chipmunks. You know what? Here, have a bone. You deserve it. See, the chipmunks are annoying because they have a tendency to drop stuff on you from off-screen. Okay, yeah, I knew you could jump higher by holding up. Also, that tiny branch there is difficult to land on. Kick you in the butt. Also, you can drop through ledges by ducking and pressing B. And now I'm going to have to go all the way back around because I wanted that item. I really want to get all of the items if possible. Because like I said, they give you style points at the end of the level, and even if it sounds superfluous, you actually get things for style points. You can get several extra lives, in fact, if you get a high enough ranking, so... I definitely want to take advantage of that. Generally, the bones are actually probably the best way to deal with the red dogs. Okay, I have one more pie and one more bone, I think. Okay, land down here, and we can get a 1-up. And now we're back to the beginning of the level. So, where's the hole I went down last time? That was that one, I believe. Oh. Invisible ninja pie. So I think I should be able to get more items here by going down some of these other holes. Actually, can I maybe get that 1-up over to the left by holding up? Can't hurt to check. I think I got rid of m at least most of the enemies in here. And if there is still some left, we have pies for dealing with them. Ah, nope. Can still can't quite reach it. Yeah, I'm not really sure how you get that. I should have plenty of lives anyway, but... More 1-ups never hurt anyone, especially in a game that doesn't have a save system. I think there actually might be a couple dogs left here still. There we are. Have a pie. You too, have a pie. And have a bone. Even though I know that was kind of a waste. What? Okay, apparently I jumped wrong. I'm not actually sure if your inventory pies are any more powerful than the other kind, but they give you style points. So... Seriously, how do you get that? And th also the dogs can't dodge them, like I said. Um... 
Well, I don't see any more holes. Is that that one? I think that was the one I just went down. So... Oh, hello there, chipmunk. Nobody likes you. And that is why, because you knocked me off platforms. Whoops. Dang it, I, can't, I keep holding the wrong direction. Yeah, this game may be cartoony, but that doesn't exactly mean it's easy. At least my health is full up again. Also, as far as I know, items do not respawn if you lose a life, so be wary of that. Also, I'll save that carrot for later. Go ahead and drop a checkpoint here. And I believe this was... Yeah, that little thing, that little area I came out of after the... Underground section. Hmm, did that hit both of them? See, the dynamite's kind of hard to hit with because you generally... It doesn't have much of a range and you don't really want to be directly in front of these dogs. I guess you can do a kind of delayed reaction like that. I'm also not sure if they still give you style points if they don't actually hit anything. Okay, so I have some checkpoints. Oh, hey, it's already boss time. And the boss of this level is Elmer Fudd. Also holes. Whoops, just went down the same one. Well, that was careless. That one gives you... Okay, that one takes you out of that hole. Out of items. Oh, actually, let's show off. Well, no, let's not. Because I'm kind of low on health here. And spinning makes you invincible while doing it, but it actually drains your health bar, so... Probably not the best option for attack. The main threat in this battle, as you can imagine, is all the stinking bullets flying around. There we go. Beat him. And naturally, Bug sticks his finger in the end of the gun, and Elmer shoots himself in the face. Style rating, slick hair. So I got a full health refill, and... I got... One extra life. Not as good as I could have done. I think you can get... A, I know you can get at least two extra lives, and possibly three. So now we're on to level two, or as the game calls it, level 2.1. And now we have some new enemy types. These cowboy dudes. They take four jumps to get rid of, and if you defeat them, their pants will fall down. We also have Indians. 4v4 cartoons were politically correct. Well, relatively speaking, of course. Saving that. And these bottles will fall on you if you let them. That guy chose a bad Nevada no attack. A bad attack location, and if you defeat him, he shoots himself in the butt with an arrow. Whoops, completely missed with that. Here, Mr. Cowboy, got a gift for you. Yeah, right there. Safe on head! Pick up a couple more items here. The tomatoes are basically like the pies. They just go forward and hit something. Now this is the first level to have bottomless pits, so be careful of that. Also, you can use the TNT barrels to give yourself a height boost. Wait, I'm I'm sure I pressed A there. Why didn't it use my item? Yeah, okay, this is an occasion where I probably should just try to jump on him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, the things I do for style points. Also, um, let's see, do I want to risk it? Sure, let's show off the camera. There's a bottomless pit down there, but I believe you can jump on the sandbags. I don't usually go over here. Okay, no pit there. Also, one up, checkpoint, and another one up. Oh hey, that actually did hit him. Let's see if we can get another good hit in. Oh, can I get back up here? No, I cannot. I think there are more items up there, but oh well. There probably weren't two one-ups, so I still took the better path. Also, I don't know what the music in this level is from, or really the previous one for that matter. Your pants will go down! Be defeated by the same method as Bert the Bashful. Tomato. Plenty of vitamins over here. I was trying to avoid getting that carrot because I don't need it right now. Tomato and more carrots. It's actually kind of hard to use up all the items in this one because... Yeah, I took the hit, but... He's gonna step on that, and... Anvil! That is an insta-kill, by the way. Those bullseyes, if they step on them. Whoops. Wow, I'm just getting hit all over the place. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's the items. And yes, the root beer hurts you too. Didn't anyone tell you pop was bad for your health? Let's see if I can tomato this guy to death. Or to my death. Maybe I should have been more specific. Okay, you know what? Kick in the face. Also, I'm gonna have to drop a checkpoint here very shortly, I think. Actually, let's just do it now. This level generally gives you plenty of checkpoints, so... Shouldn't have to worry too much about that. Just go ahead and jump on him. I don't know if you get extra style points for defeating all the enemies. These guys are easy enough to deal with if you just jump on them like this and alternate sides. But that's the cheap way. Or the easy way or something. Also, more objects falling on my head. I guess you can deal with the Indians the same way. Oh yeah, I actually didn't see that bomb there. Let's see, I believe... Yes, it is boss time! And that's not a good reaction, Bugs Bunny. This is Nasty Canasta. At least I think it's him. Also just using up my items because they do absolutely nothing to this guy. You have to jump on his hat. So... I guess we'll find out if... Oh, whoops, didn't mean to drop another checkpoint, but... Not that it matters since we're at the end of the level anyway. Also, this guy's annoying because he's like... Remember what I said about the bullets in the Elmer Fudd battle? He's like that times about 15. So I am probably going to die here. I think I can take exactly one more hit. Yep, there we go. So when Bugs dies, a pencil comes in from the fourth wall side of the screen and erases him. But I get to start off with the full health meter. I'll be at no items. They're not helpful on this guy anyway, like I said. Also, I am really bad at actually dodging this guy's attacks. If you couldn't tell. Wow, I am 
severely low on health already. I don't know if... Wow, that was quick. <sighs> I'm not normally this bad at the game, I swear. Well, okay, maybe I am. But... I think hits on this guy are cumulative. So his health meter... Yeah, there we go. He takes about 20 hits, I believe. But anyway, level 2 down. Our style rating is hasty here. Yeah, that's probably not a good sign. We didn't get any extra lives. That's a bummer. And I think we're going to call it here. We'll get to level 3 next time. So, I'll see you then.